Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners here. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use GitHub to download some apps that I've built and install them into Power BI. GitHub is just a place where you can keep files and keep them up to date and so on. It is much more technical than that, but for our purposes, that's all it is. So here we are in GitHub and we are in an actual file to do with a Yu-Gi-Oh app that I put together. Now, so if you, we've got the full URL to the app itself, but actually if you jump up a level, you'll actually see all of the uh, assets uh, associated with this app. So there's different images essentially, uh, and the app itself. So we, if you did download from here, you get all of these things, but you don't really need them and it's a little bit unhelpful. So what you need to do is you need to go onto the app itself and once you're in the app, all you need to do is navigate to the download. Now I downloaded this earlier on, so uh, if I click download here, it'll just download it into wherever you normally download things. So you go, um, and I can give it a name, um, uh, I'll call it video. You go app underscore video. So I can click save on that and then obviously it'll bring it down onto my own computer. Now the next part of the process is that we are going to go to Office 365 and we're going to install the app. So here I am in Office 365, that is www.office.com um, and I'm going to go into Power Apps. Now if you don't see it on the screen you might still have it, um, so do make sure that you go to the search icon and you type in Power and then you see if you've actually been given the license. Now if you haven't been given the license you would need to speak to your administrator and uh, ask them to give you one. Um, so good luck with all that. Um, it's it, from from their point of view, it's actually a very straightforward process. But just uh, it's you do need to know that that's that's a necessary prerequisite. So I need to move on to Power Apps. So I could have gone to make.powerapps.com. That would have taken me there. You can see that the that's the URL that we're going to at the moment. And the thing that we're going to do now is we're going to bring in the app that we imported. So we shall see where we are any minute now. Um, it is a zip file, so I think it was 1.1 megabytes, uh, which struck me as is actually re it's really really small. But it's got quite a few images in it and so on. There is there's almost nothing to this app really. So the first thing that we need to do is instead of going to create, we're actually going to go to apps. Um, so I'm going to click on apps. And the reason for that is we need to do the import canvas app option. So um, earlier on I was doing a demo and and uh, the recording wasn't very good so I thought I'd do it again. So I'm going to click on import canvas app. And once we're on this screen, we are going to click upload and we're going to navigate to the file that we just downloaded. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, there we are, app video. I'm going to click on open to that um, and then we're going to click on import. If it doesn't immediately come up as create as new, you can always click on it and then you can update it to either update or create as new. So if you've already got the app, you'll probably want to update it. Uh, if you've never had the app before, it's create as new. Um, so then I'll click save on that, which is saving that app option. Now that won't work because actually I've got an app called that. So I'll call it Yugo Points Video and then click save. And now I'm going to go into import that. So this app will be called Yu-Gi-Oh Points Video. It's just an app for a game to do with Yu-Gi-Oh and I'm going to demonstrate that in a separate video.
So it's going to import this um, package in. It doesn't take a huge amount of time, as you can see. It's actually finished that process. So we could go to Open App in Studio, which would be you editing the app. We're not going to do that yet. What we're going to do is we're going to click on to learn and then back onto apps. And then we'll actually get to see a list of the apps that we've actually brought in. Now, this did happen to me earlier on. So um, it just took a few moments for it to actually kind of work its way through. But but it's um, I'll, I'll do a quick screen refresh just in case you get a similar experience. Normally, it's literally seamless. You just get it absolutely straight away. I'll just so I'll just do one more refresh. If that doesn't work, then we're just going to go and straight into the to the demo app itself. So as you can see, the Yu-Gi-Oh points video has actually come in there. So I'm going to click on uh, the three dots here and I'm going to get an option to edit or play it. So I'm going to actually click play and then we'll be able to see the app actually just working. So this is the app, you know, uh, and this will run on your phone and all those sorts of things providing you get the app. I'm not going to get into that at this point, but I'm just going to demonstrate that in the, the space of time that we've been doing this video, we've actually brought in an app and it does actually work. There are a few photos in this, so every, um, but but it's not it's not a heavy app. Uh, it's not designed to be a heavy app. It's supposed to be when me and my daughter play with it, we actually play it on uh, just on the phone rather than on on the computer and so on. And it's got a few sound effects which are quite nice. So um, here we are. We're in the app. Um, you've got different characters, and and uh, this is, I'm not going to demonstrate how to play this game. This was all about you being able to get to the app. But you can see it is a working app. You can kind of click on the different things, and it'll take you to different screens. Um, so where you can do different parts of your battling. Now I am going to click the X on that because I'm not going to play that anymore. But I'm going to demonstrate that if you actually hit the three dots on here, and you go to edit it, you can now open up the app, app from an editing perspective and start making changes to it. So you can see here that we've now gone into the edit version of the app. I won't make any change. Well, I can make changes to it so I can actually click on things and I can sort of move them around if I so choose. Uh, I drag that around. Uh, it'll move across the page. I can, I can, you know, take icons and move them to different places. That's all this thing really is. You know, all it does is change x and y um, coordinates and so on. Uh, and you've got various um, elements to the app. Um, the purpose of this isn't to go into the construction of the app. This is just to say, hey you've now finally got to the edit mode of the app. Once you're done with editing an app, what you do is you go to file and then you go to save and you can put some notes about the save, uh, ABC123 um, and you can save that. Um, but then the final thing that you have to do if you have made changes is you need to make sure that you publish them. So it's going to do the save and then you can click publish. And once it's published, then any of your changes will be available to uh, to your audience. So moving back to the um, to GitHub, which is where we started, um, you can see this is the app that you downloaded. But if you actually click on Yu-Gi-Oh, then what you'll actually see is all of the assets associated with that app. So if you actually genuinely wanted to to build the app and you know play around with the different bits and pieces, and maybe bring in your own photo, maybe this would be something that would be helpful to you because you've got all of the elements. And by all means, if anyone wants to change the app, please do. Uh, so thank you very much for watching along. Um, please like, please subscribe and I think there's a bell icon and you can click that and then uh, you'll get notifications when I create new content. See you again soon.